to Bochi Night on BochiNight.com. My name is Nicole. For those of you who don't know, in this channel you will find everything related to macrame from DIY pattern tutorials to tips and tricks videos. There's a lot of macrame content right here and if you guys are interested in any of those things then click the subscribe button to stay tuned for more. So in today's video, we'll be going over the topic on how to measure core for your projects. I did post a video several weeks ago on this topic, and I think the general consensus was that it was slightly confusing. So I wanted to simplify it because the point I was trying to get across is not supposed to be confusing. So here is round two of the how to measure macrame board for your projects. So I've said this before in the past, I believe the number one question people often ask is how do I measure cord for my macrame projects? So from my very own experience, one of the worst feelings I get when I make macrame is when I run out of cord partway through a project or when I'm almost done a project, which is even worse. So to prevent these situations from happening too often, a lot of pre-planning should go into a project before you even start making it. And so a few things to consider when you are pre-planning for a project is to first know what you're making, know the approximate size of the project, know what size of cord you're going to use, how many knots you're going to use, how many different knots you're going to use, and how you want to end the piece. Are you going to have the whole macrame piece with just knots or are you going to end with some fringe? And so those are a few things you should consider when you're pre-planning for a project. And one of the most important things within that is how much cord do I need? Cord is expensive and it is definitely time consuming and frustrating to have to untie and unknot an entire macrame piece if you're part way through or almost on a project. And so I have some advice for you guys today on how to measure cord. And this is what I call the golden ratio. In order to appropriately measure cord for your projects, you have to first know the approximate size of the piece you are planning to make. As you can see here, approximately half of the wall hanging is filled with knots and then the latter half is fringe. And because knots use up a lot of cord, we'll have to first determine approximately how much of the piece that you're going to make is going to be filled with knots. This is a 12 inch dowel that I am using here and so I've estimated when I pre-planned this piece that I was going to only fill up half of the piece with knots and end with fringe. So we're going to do a little bit of math but first we're going to measure the approximate length of the piece that we're going to fill with knots. So when I had pre-planned this project I had estimated I was going to fill up the space in between the dowel and about 18 to 20 centimeters downward with knots. The completed piece shows about 18 centimeters of the knotted portion of the wall hanging, which means I ended up where I had originally estimated. To measure the cord to use for your projects, I always use the golden ratio, which is four times the approximate length, and then you multiply it by two because you'll be attaching it onto an object or dowel, for example, using a large head knot. Then if I knew I was going to end my piece with fringe, I would add more length to what I had just calculated for the knot portion. So to calculate the amount of cord you would need to make this piece using the golden ratio, I will start with the length of the knot portion which we had measured to be approximately 18 centimeters. So we're going to multiply that by four. And we get to 72 centimeters. And because we're attaching the cords onto a dowel or object using a large head knot, then we will multiply this number by two to get to 144 centimeters. 
And now, taking the approximate fringe portion, which is measured to be 25 centimeters in length, and we multiply that amount by two to get 50 centimeters. So we'll have to add the fringe portion and the knot portion together to get to 194 centimeters. And because I like to round up, I've ended up using 200 centimeters per strand of cord to make this wall hanging. I am showing a wall hanging here called the Cami Pattern, which comes in a starter kit and is great for beginners. If you guys are interested, please check out the link in the video description below. To recap, all you need to do to measure cord for your projects using the golden ratio is to take the knot portion of your piece that you're going to make and multiply that by 4 and then multiply it by 2 and then take your fringe portion and multiply that by 2 and add those two portions together to get to the length of cord that you'll need to cut for your macrame projects. So if you're ever wondering or unsure of what design you want to use or how many knots or how many different knots you're going to use in your project, I will always err on the side of caution and cut more cord so that you don't run out. You can always use the leftover scraps for other smaller projects if you end up cutting too much, but it is definitely a challenge to fix a project if you run out of cord before the project is complete. If you guys have any other questions you would like me to answer, please let me know in the comment section below. And please give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.